We're here. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Gear Swap episode two. I forgot to title this because I'm lazy and I did a bunch of other work on the server. Uh, I am Brat. I am one of the hosts here. Uh, you guys know me as I adjust my camera. With us, we always have Birdie and Christian 10K. Hello, hosts. Hey. Hey, everybody. Hope everyone had a good week. We all had yeah. Some good Yes. It's good to be back. Yes, it was a very good week. Everybody should... Uh, we'll get some of the business out of the way here first. Everybody, if you are watching the stream live, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Go ahead and smash that follow button. If you are following, we would really appreciate a subscription. We are currently in the process of getting to our second emote. We have our first one done. Uh, it's a good one. No spoilers, but you guys are going to like it. Uh, we are going to put that up here as well. Um, while I'm doing this and doing some editing on the site here, uh, Christian, how was your week? What's been going on? Oh, what's been going on? Dude, all this covering that I had to do for James, because, you know, he's on vacation. I hope he's having fun and everything. But it was really nice just trying to get used to the whole new arm reposition. And I'm getting used to fixing guns. I'm getting, I'm starting to get into that process. And fixing guns, it's... More like it could be as simple as cleaning it to changing out an entire thing, you know, it's a whole like whole nine yards. But I'm I noticed that I'm starting to get faster and I'm trying to get better at the whole cleaning and fixing guns concept. And I hope that that keeps progressing as I keep uh, working at iCombat. Uh, Birdie, how about you? How was your week? Hey, I've got a question for you. Um, yes, Christian. Oh. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna interrupt you, but I'll let you finish. We got our third <laughs> sub. Thank you very much, Cam Cordant. Thank you. Anyways, continue. I love you, Cam. <laughs> um, so for the new armory position, are you guys like are you getting trained in fixing the gear too, or is that still just gonna be on James, like dependent on like if he's there? I or am not? getting trained on fixing gear also. Oh, okay. So you're gonna like kind of be doing that with James then and then stepping in when he's not around. Oh, okay, yeah. that's super dope. I didn't know if that was going to be a thing that you were also doing. I kind of figured, but I know that like we hadn't really talked about it at all yet, but that's really awesome. I haven't really um, gotten the gear yet. I'm still strictly on like guns. Right. I know you guys are still making the transition over to the new schedule, so it makes sense. There's a lot to kind of relearn there. Um, but my week was good. <laughs> um, I only played one session this weekend, so um, <laughs> I'm a, a little lackluster on the actual, like, keeping into the, the laser tag side. But school's been great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Weekly though. grind. Love that. Love that for me. Um, the one session that I played was really good, though. I met a lot of new... Um, uh, a lot of the new regulars, so that was really nice. I feel like I got to play with a lot of new people, which was really cool. Awesome. Uh, a reminder for the people that are in the chat, please, 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 this is going to be posted on YouTube. Keep the chat to a, we'll make it a PG-13 rating. Uh, keep the profanity out of there. I don't have any filters on, but my brother is in the chat, and he's moderating with a hammer. So, profanity. yeah, let's just keep it, <laughs> keep it, uh, keep it fair there. Um... Me, I had a busy week. I'm preparing all the taxes at work. Oh, <sighs> cute. Love that. Not fun. Tax season, baby. Yeah, it's tax season coming up for the businesses. So, um, yeah, it's not really a great time uh, to be me, but I do get some free time. Um, and you'll see as we go through this. Uh, I love you guys, too. Uh, we got people watching in the gym. I checked our analytics. We got viewers actually all across the world. We had some people from Europe, South America. Uh, we had uh, one person from Canada. Uh, wow, we had word. some people from this weird place called Hello. Wisconsin. I don't know what's up with that. Ew. Yeah. Cheese heads in the chat. Yeah, it's a it's a weird world out there. Um, other than that. Like laser tag this much, oh man! Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, my week was otherwise pretty good. Uh, I did a lot of work on the stream. I did a lot of work at work. Uh, I worked at iCombat as well. Saw some pretty awesome uh, sessions that happened there. What else? Uh, played one session. This is my achievement for the week. It'll come up later. I played one session of Shanty this week. Didn't get registered as a veteran and still scored almost seven thousand oh. points. 
Could have been 10,000. It should have been a 10,000 session, but that's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. No big deal. It's no big deal. <laughs> um, all right. So I think we are going to jump into our first topic of the day today. Uh, it's going to be our, our main topic every week uh, where we just jump in and see how all of the fields are doing. So uh, here's your top tens. No, oh, the screen is blank. Just kidding. Oh, no. Uh, you guys are going to like this. this. I, have, uh, I have some really... What's going on here? There it is. I was on the wrong screen. Uh, so we have... Yeah. Boom! Top tens. Yay! Chicago's first. So, hey, Goody. How are you, sir? Little Goody. James in the chat. Thank you for joining Yay. us. Uh, cool. So we have the top ten for Chicago. 10th uh, place, the Owl. 18,000 points. Ooh, the owl. 285 KDR. Wonderful job this week. A little bit lower points, but uh, uh, overall, well, there wasn't a very busy weekend at iCombat this weekend, so. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. I feel like Saturday was really busy. Saturday, Saturday. Right? Yeah, well, like, there was back-to-backs kind of all day, no? Uh, oh, except the for the morning. one, but after that... Yeah, the morning was pretty busy. Green is okay, still that's... blank. Yeah, oh, the screen is blank on the stream. You are correct, the stream yeah. is blank. Hold on a second. Oh, uh, yeah, for that... We love technical difficulties. There we go, that may have fixed it there. <laughs> and I just went there. Oh, hey, look, there it is. <gasps> Alright, sorry about that. I'm wow, still, so still learning this. <laughs> Hey, Powers gifting a sub to Sean. Powers wow, getting on the leaderboard Powers. of everything here. Thanks, fam. Um, yeah, so the Owl in 10th place. 9th place goes to Commander Irwin. Another Shanty hero. Shanty, yeah. 18,000. 339. He actually snuck up behind me and killed me either this weekend or last weekend. Ooh, wow. Rough life. Those are the worst. <laughs> Everyone's always trying their hardest. That uh is. yeah that don't be it i just did some screen swapping here old fat and slow if you want to refresh it might fix it for you um eighth place we have now this is okay okay whoa okay oh, i know who that is i know Take who five. that is so Take eighth five. place we have pew pew ski ski six nine this is an imposter this is not this is not a pew yeah. pew. This is a fake it is pew not pew. Thanos. It is not Thanos Kalkowski. It is not Thanos. As we know him. <laughs> Correct. It is not him. This is this is JP, who had a birthday this last weekend. So happy birthday, JP. Oh, happy JP birthday. had a birthday? Happy birthday. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. You know, uh, I feel like we he, talked about that, but... <laughs> a little bit. Uh, he also destroyed Alcatraz. He did so, so well this weekend. I got a chance to play a session with him and be on the same team as him for the first time. And, uh, man, that kid has some serious fucking game. <laughs> yeah, he is quite good. Yeah. He's messing it up. Mm -hmm. messing, yeah. yeah. Uh, his KDR was 249. So that's a pretty good, solid KDR for your just general, I don't want to say everyday player because he doesn't come by that often. Um, yeah. He's too busy working. But he's damn good. He's damn good. Yeah. Uh, seventh, Tibbs, Tiberius, seventh place this week. Ooh, Tibbers. Nice. Ooh, all right. Tibbers. <laughs> 24,000 points, 337 KDR. That's a pretty damn good KDR. Yeah, that is really good. Wow, we got some, got some, uh, some smack talk happening in the chat right now. Oh, man. Oh, Ooh, come, on, come Nick, on, Nick, Nick. Nick, what are you doing here? You can't you can't be saying friends. that. How do I delete a message? How do I how do I delete this? Purge one second. It, Did that work? Is it Nick a moderator? Nick is a moderator. <laughs> God, oh, get that out of here. We need moderators for our moderators. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ooh. It actually, if you guys are in the chat now, I'm going to interrupt the stream again. If you're in the chat now, you're going to see one of our couple upgrades <laughs> I worked on this week. Uh, if you look next to Sean's 316's name, uh, you will see the subscriber badge, which is now updated and approved. If you do sub to the channel, you become a member of the Pew Crew. That's right, okay. the Pew Crew. Yeah. We love it. 
there'll be more badges coming on as we get longer and uh, we start doing this for more months. But uh, at least right now, the minute you join, you become a Pew Crew. So welcome to the Pew Crew. Okay. So next up, we have out. Now out. Uh, whoa, Clay. Out, out, whoa, out. This guy. <laughs> out get out of here i'm sorry <laughs> that was awful uh <laughs> member of the alcatraz over the weekend uh, right chris yeah yeah we did we played a lot of jailbreak all right that's good that's good mm -hmm. uh, uh out yeah. wonderful alcatraz player he was on the top 10 last week i believe as well mm -hmm. um let's see his kdr 3.7 uh that's a respectable kdr still um this guy just just very good all around. I mean, and he's playing against regulars every week, so uh, right. he's not he's not pulling punches. He's going out there, he's putting the work in. No, nah, he knows. He knows. Very go he knows never go easy on the regular. Right. Out is literally the first person I see who signed up like through barracks. I'm pretty sure like every single week. He is like the first to jump on like the upcoming like Thursday sessions. I'm like the dedication is admirable. <laughs> yeah, it's it's absolutely yeah. real. Um for the hosts, uh we currently have a viewer count of over 23. So we're Ooh. growing baby. We're 10 times bigger than last week. Wow, look at us go. We really networked that. Yeah, hardcore. we did. We said well, watch the podcast. I swear it's worth it. I have the, I have I have the best <laughs> the best facebook posts yeah. <laughs> all right I put up a facebook post i just put it on my group chats <laughs> <laughs> uh fifth place moving on fifth place emerald bullet emerald 28000 yeah. points daniel we love nathan we do love what nathan what a sweetheart we <laughs> we stand <laughs> we stand he's a very nice guy very tilt proof very tilted. That is so true. I yeah. I don't think I've ever seen him walk out of the session without a smile. He is so pleasant to play mm -hmm. with. Absolutely. Yeah, he is wonderful. Yeah. And the, like, I think we said this last <laughs> week, but the shotgun was made for this dude. Like, freaking. He didn't use it this weekend, though. I think he stuck with the SMG yeah. this whole weekend. Oh. If he was watching live, he could correct me. I don't know if he is or not, though. I think um I think I last saw him with an SMG. I think That's last weekend I'm... when he did play with it cuz it was the the weekend uh before our first podcast. Um he he did play with it and I remember him saying that he didn't like it at all. Really? <laughs> really? But he, but he didn't really? he didn't not do well, correct? Uh no, I, I mean if if he says he didn't like it, he changed his story because he was raving about it all all weekend when he was talking to people about it. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. Ferris. So maybe I'm just wrong. <laughs> yeah, I think he currently holds the highest KDR with the shotgun, uh, based on stats in barracks for our location. Like, Speaking of the shotgun, I don't know if anybody saw, but uh, I combat recently put up a poll for if people prefer the shotgun or the uh, SMG. Yeah, I saw that. I I, I cried IRL. Yeah, that was pretty rough. I Everybody's know, like, I was like, no one did say shotgun. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was like an eighty-six percent like um, for the SMG, and I think it was like like I don't know, like something like thirty, fifty, like somewhere in between there for the shotgun. It was like rough, but again, also, it yeah, depend, it does depend on map too. So. Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, yes. Yeah, sorry, I got quiet there. I did pull up his uh, shotgun stats. Uh, he is currently, it doesn't unfortunately have um, the KDR ratio, but it does have his kills per minute. And with the shotgun, he's at 1.41 kills per minute, 54% oh. accuracy. So that's uh, not that's bad. Good. Not bad at yeah. all. I'm with like the shotgun. It. That's really good. Yeah. Um. So good job getting in the top five this week. He doesn't play as often as he used to, but... Uh, he is he is pretty awesome. Uh fourth place, Joe. Joe Rebel. Uh, Thirty two thousand points, one eight five KDR. I'll let you guys take this over because I'm doing some stream stuff right now. Oh, 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 score like thirty one thousand nine hundred fifty seven, four hundred and sixty six kills in one week. In one week. Jeez. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember when this guy took my place on the leaderboard. Yeah, it was a. Uh, 
it was a little bit of back and forth. Was, he played two sessions, then I played a full Thursday that I had off, and then like he he just took me over. He just played double, took a, took me out. Uh, Joe Rebel with a KD of one point eight five, and kills. Is that kills per? Yeah, kills per minute. We got one one point eight nine. Sorry, my screen's kind of small. That's still really, really good. I mean, these stats are all just... Mm -hmm. I feel like they're always so impressive to me. <laughs> yeah, it shows they're putting the work in. It shows they're putting the work in. Absolutely. Yeah, totally. Uh, Joe is, again, one of the nicest guys that plays there. He's awesome. Uh, he's in the chat right now, so thanks for watching, Joe. Uh, hey, Joe. I, uh, I, I don't have anything bad to say about him. He's improved so much since when he started playing. Um... I think the only only thing to say is that he's still getting whipped by his son, who is third in our list as a segue. Whoa. Speed runner number three, Whoa. outscoring Whoa. his dad by three thousand points. Look, the youngins got the up. Four hundred, an extra hundred and ten kills over his dad. Hundred and ten kills. Oh. Uh, he did play an extra session where he didn't show up, so there is that. But oh, yeah, that is four hundred and sixty-six kills, one eight five KDR. Nope, wrong one. One two five KDR. Uh, 1.4 kills per minute with a 10 kill streak. Speed runner, have at it, hosts. Have at it, yo. Good job, speed runner. It was it was funny because he played a session. He played a session with his dad, Joe Rebel, and Sean was in it. They all agreed to go on elite, and then apparently, what I heard was Joe gave Joey both their cards to swipe in. Joey put his own dad on legendary. And it was, uh, Dang. it was so funny. <laughs> Get right. That right there is actually the play of the week. That's wild. We were, we were trying every trick in the book to put him back on Elite. Like, I, I, well, we had, I'm not sure if we had him do the phone trick, but we had him re-swipe in. The phone trick doesn't work anymore. Nick and I ruined that. Sorry. Oh, really? um Damn. no what you have to do is you have to actually kick him out of the session so you have to actually at the yeah. front desk you have to remove him from the session and then add him back in and then you can change it because uh, no, once no. see this is why okay we're gonna go on a rant here for a second this is why i get i get a little bit i get a little bit edgy when i'm sitting in ice and people start making teams like five hours before the session starts because oh, yeah. the minute you pull a name into the session gear assignment it locks them at that difficulty so if yeah. like Ed or somebody up front has somebody reserved on recruit, they're stuck on recruit unless they get kicked out all the way and then back in. Um, right. So yeah. I don't know. Friendly suggestion. Maybe mm. just make it easier within the system to. Well, that would be that? wonderful. Wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's not a perfect world. I mean, there's people that took advantage that. of it. <laughs> sure. Oh, that's right. That was a problem for a while where people were like, "What? What was?" It was like legendary and then like to recruit, but then no, you still get the points. There was a yeah, there was a bug in the system where you could sign up as a recruit, uh, mm -hmm. get yourself onto a team. They would put you on the team together, and then once the teams were set, you could switch yourself back to a different d difficulty to get the bonus XP. Oh right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. Well. So you could like artificially stack the teams. Sure. Anyways. Whatever. <laughs> Moving on. Second on the it. list this week. His second week in a row at second place, Killer Cobra. Oh, man. Barely edging out Speedrunner by 1,000. Actually, not even 1,000, by 200 points. My guy, next time I see you, I swear I'm rolling up with a lawn chair. <laughs> yeah, he has fully embraced his memeness. Yeah, he has. I love that the, the first thing, like one of the first things he said when he walked in, my lawn chair is missing. <laughs> Like, fair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we talked a lot of you shit to not get you your recliner, map. my dude. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He walked onto the map. He was like, he was like, Mr. Chan, my recliner's missing. I was like, oh, shoot, I'll slip you, I'll slip you an extra Capri Sun. Uh, I'm <laughs> dead. I'll see to that immediately, sir. I'm so sorry. One of these days. One of these days, I'm going to buy a 12-pack of Capri Suns and leave it up there. And then it's going to say I have a note saying four killer. Oh, I'm wow. Dead. Don't touch unless. <laughs> that would be amazing. Oops, that's Don't the same one. Don't touch unless killer is <laughs> here. It sucks because you, you can only drink out of an eye combat water bottle in the field. <laughs> you have to leave it there. <laughs> yeah, no, so, it will happen. Correct me if I'm wrong, but our first place... 
is Sean again. Yeah, second week in a row, back to back, yeah. four star general, oh, Pew Pew, okay. member of Pew Pew. Uh, obviously, say... he's an upstanding player if he's a member of Pew Pew. Um, All right. that's enough. Over there, really Hype for your team, sir. That's yeah, fine. Sean's three sixteen. Like Sean came back with a freaking vengeance. Like he kind of like disappeared off of like the face of I combat, <laughs> and like wasn't playing for a really long time, and then came back and is just absolutely killing it and playing a ton of sessions too, which is great. I mean, like, and he's doing a killer job. So shout out to Sean. Yeah, congratulations, dude. You're absolutely wrecking the game. Yeah, Sean apparently saying in the chat that it was three sessions long. <laughs> um, which for this week was a lot because most people only played one or two. Um, yeah, and he's still managing to make everybody have a great time living up to the name Smiley Sean. Yeah, it's always such I a joy. He had that name. Mm -hmm. So I have good news. I finished doing all my stream updates, so now I can talk the rest of the time. <laughs> wow, congrats. Yeah, thanks. Yay, thanks. Nice. <laughs> all right, so the people that just barely didn't make it, Let's see who we got here. We got a... Oh my god, I lost my leaderboard. There it is. Okay, so uh, barely first one out was Tactical88. Uh, wonderful gentleman, very hard player. Uh, Mr. X-Ray Gun falling out of the top 10 from last week. Uh, Liana is Sparkly, our highest rank female for the week in 13th okay. place. Okay, go on, girl. I got the pleasure to finally actually meet her and talk to her for the first time this weekend. She is so sweet. Love her to death. We had like a great conversation about like school, laser tag, all that stuff. And she is just wonderful. Love her as a human, also as a player. She's great. Yep. And she has that killer spirit. She will wreck you on the field. Correct. <sighs> And then 14th, yeah, absolutely. 14th place, can't say. Uh, that was uh, uh, John L in 14th place. And then. Oh, I know his YouTube. Yep. And then 15th place, rounding out the front page, was Mr. Powers, our first subscriber to the channel. Yes! Go, Powers! My coach. Oh, God. I love it. Me and Powers had a couple of really good standoffs um, during the one session that I played that he also happened to be in. That was great. There were a couple of times where he uh, got me got me good. A couple of games, especially Sniper. Damn you and your camping abilities. <laughs> yeah. He yeah, he was... He has some good spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good... All oh, right. <laughs> yeah, Chila's in the chat. Hello to the new people. Yeah. Thank you for joining. For everybody, hey, we're going to take a quick second. If you're not following, please follow. You'll get the notifications when we go live. If you are following, please subscribe. We need uh, 11 more subs till we get our second emote unlocked. All right. That being said, uh, we have our first surprise of the stream. Uh, we are about to go over to the iCombat Madison Top 10. Uh, last week, we had a little Ooh. bit of trouble figuring out who some of the players were. So I did some research and I got one of our good friends up in Madison, Mr. Fernando, live for the moment to do a write up on their top 10. Yes, sir. So what we're going to do sure. here yes, is we're going to switch over to Madison. Look at that we transition. We love thorough stats. We yeah. love it. So here is Madison's top 10. And we're going to do this a little bit different here. I'm actually just going to read out what uh, what Fern has to say about these people, and then we can stop, do a quick uh, chat in between. Sick. Number 10, Moto Moto Likes You, 19,000 points. <laughs> KDR of 2.16. 2 uh, according to Fern, this is their Delta Fix account. Huh. Uh, so that is what the employees play when they have to even out teams. So there's really nothing to say about there, except that they are really bad at balancing teams, apparently. Get better at it, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, that's it for that. Uh, number nine. We can still do player cards. We can't do it anymore. Yeah, well, they... You know why. Um, yeah, I know why. All right, number nine up in Madison, Lady Phantom. Two or sorry, twenty thousand points with a three o three KDR. She's a monster. She's also playing while pregnant. Let's just put that out there. She's not gonna three o three while pregnant. T. <laughs> we love that for her. She is glowing. Yeah, that's wild. 
absolutely wild. She said, she said hold on. <laughs> hold the drink. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope it's a water or something or juice. Well, of course. Nobody said what it was. That's fair. Um, also a uh, one-star general there. Uh, eighth place up in Madison, Rainbow. Uh, that's back-to-back -back women. Rainbow uh, Fern is, says here, uh, great support player helps killing base players. That is a very good fact. She's very good at picking off people who are being uh, toxic. Um, <laughs> she is... She is a strong objective player, tries her best to defend or capture objectives before it's even announced. Proactivity, we love that. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, She's also a uh, a staple of the visits up to Madison, so she will almost always be there once we announce that we're coming out. 110%. It's always a joy to see her. Hmm? Nice. All right, number seven, Reaper's Death. Reaper had 25,000 points with a 2-7-R. KDR, 23 kill streak. Reaper is the last... I should have read these before we started. This is just bad broadcasting on my part. Uh, Reaper is a member of Misfits. He is a kill-based player, so you can really get high kill streaks. I will attest to that. He is a pain in the ass to play against. Uh, he doesn't really know any other mode except for fast. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. True. <laughs> Uh, number six, my arch nemesis up at Madison, Barney Stinson. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we had a big battle last year during the summer of who was going to take, uh, I think, seventh place in the world, where we went back and forth for a couple weeks. Uh, I had it for a while, but he's come all the way back and passed me again. Uh, Reaper is... No, not Reaper. Sorry, Barney. Oh my gosh, I'm, hard, I'm having a hard time. Uh, he will also go for big kill streaks. Uh, strong candidate for MVP most games. Uh, he is uh, has and will play all day if they have sessions going on. Uh, him and Rainbow come in for at least five plus sessions every week, so they are staples up at that field, and we love that. That's crazy. I'm also, like wonderful that. people. <laughs> uh, some of the only people I've seen that play with mouth guards because. I don't know if you've been to Madison. That feels dangerous. It can be. I feel like they all can yeah. be. I mean, we can we can learn a thing or two about safety at all the fields. I'm sure. That's actually very accurate. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. Barney's wonderful. Number five. Uh, first player that isn't a general on their list. Actually, 10 doesn't count. First player that's not a general, Mac 20. Uh, 33,000 points, 1-6 KDR. Mac's a great guy. Uh, Up-and-coming player. Started coming in the past year. Gotten really good. Uh, he will miss the first mission because he comes in late usually. He is a <laughs> great player to play with. And be around. Shout out for getting the highest kill streak for the week at 25. Nice. Um, I, I've probably played with Mac before. Um, I don't have any personal memories though, so we'll have to make sure he's there next time we go up there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, number four, four star general, no nut, no nutrition. Oh. 30, 34,000 points, 2.2 KDR. I, I have played with this dude. Yeah, so this dude he goes hard. Whirlwind to play with. Dude, yes, he there is. are times where I am like minding my own business, walking through that field, and he comes up at a nowhere and he's like bam you're dead sorry fam didn't even have time to think about it i'm like oh okay bye yeah <laughs> guess it's time to respawn <laughs> yeah yeah he is wild he again is another player that just goes fast and hard the whole time almost a little too hard almost a little too hard oh <laughs> but he takes winning seriously so uh, can't fault him for that uh yeah play to win you play to win the game all right Third place, Pajama Pants, 35,158 KDR. Uh, Casey Fern says, great man. I would say the two of them are always in the standoff. Okay. Uh, da, 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 you, they typically will play the same routes, always run into each other. Uh, he is a well-rounded player, goes for kills and objectives. Uh, one of the main reasons why he enjoys playing with them. Nice. 
I like it. Oh. Alrighty, alrighty. Oh. What's up, bird? Oh, nothing. I'm just watching my child. Oh. <laughs> it's a cat. It's a cat, folks. <laughs> Uh, it's my son. He is my son. <laughs> Number two up in Madison, JD Jenkins, 44,000 points, 178 KDR. Uh, JD is a stay back player and then push when he has the opportunity to lock down the enemy team in their base. Uh, plays the objectives very well and always wants to secure a win for his team. Sounds like a big, yeah. strong team player there. Mm -hmm. We love to see it. Absolutely. Uh, we have a we have a repeat again, second field in a row. Number one, Doki, back to back number ones, fifty two thousand points, two four nine KDR with nineteen kill streak. Uh, He's wild. Doki is wild. He also, he also doesn't know a lot of modes except for fast. Correct. Bro is is everywhere on the field. <laughs> yeah, he goes hard. Uh, Fern's report is uh, da, 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 great player and quick. Uh, he is also a kill-based player. Uh, the, uh, he plays kills more than the objective, tries to lock down the enemy team to let his rest of his team uh, get the win. We call that in the business creating space. You're not camping, you're creating space. Uh, he just recently started playing last year and is very close to getting his uh, first star, which... Is that a 50 or a 40 next to his number? He might be right on getting his general star here. That's, That's a 40. Exciting. That is a 40. He's 10 levels away. That's, That's exciting. exciting. Absolutely. All right. Uh, the people that were just out of the list. As I went to the wrong window. All right. We're going to go through these quick. 11, Ravner Green. Yay! <laughs> Try harder next week, buddy. You can get there. Number 12, Old, Fat, and Slow. Would have made the list if he wasn't Old, Fat, and Slow. Oh, no. Number 13, Steve, Livin. You're number one in my heart, babe. <laughs> it's true. He's also like the head of social up there. He's the one that really ties all the events together. So we give him a big props. Also a wonderful tournament player coming in second place at the last tournament. Uh, he... Played out of their mind. It was wild. We'll get into that conversation one day. Thirteen living at the moment. Uh, according to Fern, this is a new player that is uh, kind of being mentored by Fern a little bit. Ooh, number fourteen. That. Number fourteen is an oldie Rex eighty six, and number fifteen is one of their new employees who is a youngin, a youngin, the yeah. Zoomer. <gasps> All his oh, yeah, Zoomy. One it's one of the Zoomers, correct? Oh, cute! Wait, which one? I don't know. Let me see what it says. Uh, Jackson. Cute! Love that. Those kids are so adorable. When we showed up the first time and saw that they had childs running the game, I was worried. <laughs> I was literally like, is this legal? Yeah, <laughs> I was very, like very worried. And they then are under the age. <laughs> they are the best team leaders at any of the fields. They're great. I remember one time I was like talking while they were trying to give their spiel and I got put in my place. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, they will put you down. <laughs> Just got reprimanded by a child. You better hope that you got a backbone because they will put you in your place. Great job, Absolutely. kids. Keep it up. Yeah, no. 110% wonderful. All right. That is it for Madison. We are moving on. Skip and Waukesha this week because we actually don't have a scouting report from their field. Oh, that didn't work. Wrong button. There we we'll go. We'll have to get one from them eventually. My combat. Woo, my combat. For the Michigoons. <laughs> Let's not skip ahead to the front because we got a big surprise up at the top spot. But we're going to start at number 10. Number 10, Hail Citrus. Sir Citrus. Number 10 is 10? Thermit it's the Thermit. Frog. Oh, oh, you know why? Hmm... I look. I uh, know they they play more sessions per week than we do. They have active oh. sessions on Wednesdays, so I am oh. looking at the wrong list because I just pulled it up on my computer so I could see it bigger. Oh, I lied. So is yours actually? Like, uh, the okay. one on the screen is the one we're going to be going with. So let me just squint here for a second. Okay. Well, ten is thermit. All right, ten is thermit the frog. <laughs> thermit. Thermit. 
Uh, 22,000 points. 2-1-2 KDR. Number 9, Hail Citrus. Oh, he dropped down. Slacker. Uh, Sir Citrus, 4-star general. 26,000 points. 3-2-4 KDR. Number 8, Redneck. Uh, 29,000 points. 3-1-4 KDR with 28. 28 kill streak. Uh, so far, everyone that's come and visit us. I miss Razor's old name. I'm Correct. just gonna say it. Correct. It's the T. His last I'm name was better. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Number seven, Dragon Blood Fist. That's a new name. Uh to me at least. Thirty four thousand points and a two one one KDR. Number six, Shooter McGavin. Twenty seven thousand points with a three five nine. Uh top five late apex. Thirty eight thousand points. Two three two KDR. Number four, Jelly Bean. 47,000 points with a 241 KDR. You'll notice all of these KDRs are well over two. Like, yeah. there's not a single person on this list that doesn't have a high KDR. Uh, that says something about their field. If you're not killing people the minute you spawn, you're doing it wrong there. Mm-hmm. Bro. <laughs> Moving on. And if you play, if you play there, you will qu quickly understand that. Yes, absolutely. It's a very fast, action-paced, busy field, which they're continually upgrading. Every couple of months, there's a new layout, and I love watching it. Uh, they have the Michigan Combat page, My Combat Players Club. Uh, they have Sharpshooter and somebody else post videos nonstop up there. If you join their group, you can watch pretty fun play. Um, number three, speaking of sharpshooter, there he is, uh, 52,000 points and 304 KDR. Da -da 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 -da. Here's the shocker. Number two, Meth Morrow. What Meth? happened? Did you forget to show up, buddy? Coming in second? Meth Morrow, oh. second place, getting ousted. 78,000 <laughs> points. 78,000. Let that settle in. That's one week of playing. That's wild. 7.97 KDR. Uh, I mean, he's number one for a reason. Um, I got nothing for that. No. Except for... Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's wild. Absolutely wild. Um, <laughs> well done, sir. Literally. Number one yeah. unseating the monster is Black Attack 13. 89,000 okay. points with a 293 KDR. That's a lot of trips back to the base. That man oh. hit the respawn 400 times last weekend. Go what? <laughs> 400 times. All right. We spent a lot of time on that, uh, but that's Michigan. So that's the end of our top 10. Uh, hey. Next week, we will do, be doing another top 10. Uh, our first week of the month, we'll just actually go over the top 30 for the month. Uh, so that'll be a full month recap. So you guys have something to look forward to if you have a bad week or if you have really good weeks. Oh, All right. Oh, Love that. Cohesive Moving therapy. on. Our first topic this week outside of top 10s is going to be map strategy and what we call things. We'll call it uh lingo if you will love that yeah laser tag lingo laser tag lingo so <laughs> there we go if face. you guys are looking at the stream you are now looking at a map of alcatraz i drew this myself it's pretty wow very that very is the first very time very that i've seen map, this dude. yes that's the hosts have so not cohesive. seen this yet that's Honestly, like, so great um so we are looking at a map of uh, the combined top and bottom of Alcatraz currently. Mm -hmm. uh, the ground floor is in light blue. The upstairs is in orange. Uh, as you're looking at the map, I'm going to post these uh, somewhere so you guys can look at these also um, afterwards. But the black lines are walls that give you full cover. The upstairs purple lines are walls that give you full cover. Yellow lines are partial cover, and green lines are underpasses. Cool. So, uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to give a quick kind of overview of like what the different parts of the map are called. So, when you're playing, you can communicate a little bit better. If you've never played at our field before, you will know what we're talking about. Um, Love that. I will actually... Haha, <laughs> I'll show you how, how bougie I was this week. Um, I can actually <laughs> scroll through if you want to see just the main floor. Oh, look at that. We just have a main floor overlay. 
uh, that removes the upstairs so you can see the whole ground floor a little bit better. If you want to talk about the upstairs, we got that too. There's just the upstairs. That's wild. You really did that. I did a lot of work this week. <laughs> wow. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. Yeah. We fancy, huh? We are we are top notch production quality here. Uh so um first yeah, so first thing uh we want to go over. Well, I have it on the on our outline here, but um just some very basics of the uh of the field. So we have showers. Mm -hmm. Christian, where are the showers? Where is the showers? Yeah. The shower. Oh, hey. Well, generally, it's where you go to get clean. <laughs> where you go to get clean. Yeah. Personal hygiene. That's, or that's cleaned amazing. out, really. And I mean, if you're me. <laughs> showers is on the first floor center of the whole map. Yes. So that is dead center of the map uh, on the ground floor. Correct. Uh, some people refer to the upstairs as showers as well because it's right above the room. Um, technically, that room is the center guard tower. Um, I call it the bell room. Bell room works as well. Uh, very okay. middle of the map, bunch of names. Uh, important stuff that happens in this room are tubes for a lot of the games go in these rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, upstairs is the bell for Hell's Bells. That's and the uh, spawn room for Jailbreak as a prisoner. Love that. Um, upstairs area. Everything that's in orange. Uh. Someone comes out of base screaming, hey, someone's upstairs. That's where you want to look. <laughs> that was pretty <laughs> self-explanatory, but some of the fields don't have upstairs, so it can be a little bit confusing. Um, Which field doesn't have an upstairs? I mean, technically, Michigan doesn't really have upstairs. They have tops of roofs, but... That's an upstairs. It's an upstairs, but it's like a single area. It's like just a roof. Oh, okay, here we go. Fair. I said the word wrong again. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna say anything. That's great. Thank Moving you. on. Yes. I would argue that I would still call that upstairs. I mean, if I was playing there, just because that's what we call it where we play. It. But whatever. That's fair. Uh, Birdie, upstairs. Where's some? Uh, where's some spots up there? What do you like? Well, if you're asking me personally, pretty much anywhere. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean, if you're upstairs and you're good at holding upstairs, then, like, point blank period, it can be a good time. If you get upstairs and you're not really sure where to look and, like, what angles are most important when you first get up there, you can die pretty quickly just because there are a lot of places, especially, like, from either side where when you first get up there, you can be seen pretty easily. I will say that, I mean, we haven't really talked about spawns too much or, like, going over them, but from bus there's definitely i think like going up the stairs and getting up there if you're kind of not just like rushing and like getting over to the right right away there's kind of like a lot of spots from the other side on intake where you can get shot kind of easily if you're not paying attention or looking for those spots but um i think that regardless of where you're at if you know where to look you can kind of take advantage of most of the upstairs if you ask me mm -hmm. uh chris uh, what about those guard towers um Got any Start details time. about those, the ones that are in the corners? I'm stalling because I'm doing another little bit of a change to the stream, so you guys take over for a second. Gotcha. So basically the guard towers, you can look straight into the enemy team spawn and then just keep popping people as they keep coming out, just popping new people all the time. And then some of the, obviously the regulars are going to catch wind. But if you can put your head down fast enough, then you'll be able to get away. If you can flip in between the two guard towers, keep people guessing. That's what I like to do. But personally, I just like to stand at the halfway point of the upstairs. That way it's not that – it doesn't take that much long for me to get back to spawn and spawn back in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. Because I, I know for tournament rules, since we're not allowed to run, like walking back to spawn would be work and a half. Well, I mean, so. you're not allowed to run at all, but <laughs> T, we all do it. <laughs> also true. <laughs> also true. Uh, yeah. Uh, how do other you... Than just the... mm -hmm. Sorry. Go ahead. No, go, go, ahead. Ahead. go ahead. No, 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 you go. Well, I was just going to say, like, other than just the, like, the, like, side guard towers, the center one for sure is, like, a good place to be if you're trying to watch those side stairs. 
um, which I'm not really exactly sure how to explain them, but they're right. I mean, they're on the sides of the map and they're where the red boxes are. But um, those side stairs can be really, really tricky to guard, especially when people are like constantly attacking the upstairs for games like Hell's Bells or Juggernaut, stuff like that. So like being in that shower room and if you're really watching those doors, you have other people there, you know, watching your back, kind of helping you out. It definitely helps, I think, secure the um, kind of like greater area of the upstairs for sure. Especially since if you just like pop out of there for a second and look over the railing, you can kind of kill people coming through the center um, on either the left or right side, like kind of mid mid prison area, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Another part that I always that you will always find me at is back center, <laughs> all the way in the yeah. back center, just peeking right and left, just taking turns. Well, I think that's popular for a lot of players, especially since like you have um you have that beam that kind of extends up through um all the way through the middle and you know kind of covers you at least enough to kind of um you know be able to like shoot from side to side and kind of have a little bit of <laughs> Sorry coverage um in the middle. It's definitely it gives you a little bit of leeway to kind of cover both sides of the upstairs from like a, a pretty like wide vantage point. Yeah, and I know people don't really like to leave or don't really like to move from that spot because they think they'll die from, like, the person on the other side that's also in the middle. It's just another thing to look out for as you are moving up. Absolutely. But, that is definitely, like, I would say, aside from guard towers, like, a number one spot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so many people are just, like, they're trying to kill the one dude that's standing there the whole time. That way they can get their team to advance and move up and start uh you know the spawn killing and everything right absolutely yeah sorry about that i had to run away because i forgot something in my bedroom that i needed <laughs> it's all right it's all right we love being prepared yes i was almost prepared um i was not prepared that's fair i'll be right back i have to let my son out okay um yeah so the upstairs i mean i personally uh, I will almost never go past like this part on the field, like right around the middle section here where I'm kind of moving this red icon. Um, I just don't think there's any, yeah, you get more kills, but it takes you an extra like 20 seconds to respawn. It's like annoying. Um, also like if you're up here shooting people, like it's not a great experience for new players. And that's what I try to avoid. Because I want these people to keep coming back so we have people to play against. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's tons of places you could play up here. Like, behind the elevator on this side is obsessively good if you're on Juggernaut or something. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, like the upstairs of Alcatraz, there's there's a little bit more we could say, but we can get into it more depth when we get to actual game discussion. Um, let's go over to the downstairs really quick. Um, for the new people watching, uh, downstairs you have spawns over here, and then you got a spawn over here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, over on this side in this section right here where the dot is right now, that is the garbage detail. Mm -hmm. Over up here we have death row. Here is the showers. Uh, we have this section all here, which is the prison, which is where the bag could be hidden. And the upstairs for some of the games. Nice. Um, there's a bus stop over in this corner and, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much all of Alcatraz in a nutshell to get like the basic lingo down for people listening. Mm -hmm. Um, any, any additional input, uh, for Alcatraz, any, any fun stuff you want to say about the map? Oh, I forgot the underpasses. Uh, underpasses are the parts that are marked in green. So, Typically, you wouldn't be able to go from, like, say, here to here without walking, like, all the way around or going all the way back this way. Uh, but because there's this underpass, if you're a short kid or if you're Sean and flexible, uh, you can actually just kind of go whoop and just slide right underneath and you're right on the other side of the wall. 
Honestly, I feel like you don't have to be that that super flexible to use them. I feel like that's kind of like a myth. <laughs> I've seen pretty much everybody go through those things. If you're really willing and you're feeling adventurous, you can do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, honestly. And this is coming from uh, the the girl with super shitty knees. I have wrecked <laughs> myself a few times coming <laughs> through those. <laughs> <laughs> look bro it's rough i've gone through those a couple yeah. times and really messed my shit up <laughs> like, yeah, absolutely bad bad, bad. <laughs> all right um yeah if you don't get hurt at eye combat you haven't really played at eye combat yeah you haven't played i left last weekend with two uh two scraped knees we'll put it i fell yeah, one of the first times I think I played there, I was running up the stairs in Alcatraz, and uh, it was during Sniper, and the lights cut out, and I broke my finger. <laughs> yeah, that's a that thing. Was, that was a good time. <laughs> also happens on Hell's Bells. The minute I hit, like, the seventh stair going upstairs, the lights knock out. Oh, yeah, it's it's a thing. You really just gotta go for it. You're yeah, like, you have well, to know what I you're doing. the stair is here. <laughs> you just gotta, like muscle memory it you know just like you play long enough to the point where you know like, where it is yeah and then another thing walking backwards up the stairs so that way you can catch the dude in the in the in the guard tower yeah, mm -hmm. that comes in handy too yeah Always. absolutely yeah you coming up these stairs right here <laughs> and then Not shooting back him. toward it's the people so up here <laughs> Yeah, so this this angle right, ooh, that's a big square. This angle right here. <clears throat> mm, yeah. All right, I think that's I think that's good for Alcatraz. We're gonna talk a little bit more about this in a little bit when we do our game discussion coming up. But uh, uh, yeah, let's move on to the basics of shanty. Ooh. Mm. Yay, my baby. Yo. <clears throat> Hey, I did the same thing. Look at that. A beautiful hand-drawn shanty map. Love it. All right. So for shanty, we have... Ooh, she cute. We have two spawns. <laughs> we have the spawn up here. This is called the uh, ace spawn because there is a big ace symbol right here on the wall. Ace spawn up in the top right corner. And then bottom left corner, we have the Rick and Morty spawn. Thus called because the entrance way right here. <laughs> a picture of Rick and Morty. Go figure. We're very creative here. <laughs> yeah. Um. Some of the highlights of this field are that it's very, very, very tight. Um. Let me get rid of the upstairs really quick, and you can kind of see all the different twists and turns. Um. Every place you go on this map has an intersection, a hallway, a doorway. Mm -hmm. Um, you'll notice there's almost no, <laughs> oh, Fabian, I can't, man. Uh, sorry. I'm back. I'm professional. Dang, bro. Um, what up, Fab? <laughs> um, wow. I can't even think right now. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Get absolutely wrecked. <laughs> Every corner of this map is either full cover or... You have to make your own cover because everything, there's no half cover on this map. There's no walls you can kind of hide behind. Uh, upstairs, it's different, but on the ground floor, you're exposed or you're covered. Mm -hmm. um, main areas on the map, uh, right here, bam, smack center in the middle. That is the bell. Yep. I mean... That's pretty self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. That's, that's the death uh, trap hallway. Yeah. That's the... I'm going to sit in the, the way, way back where it's almost... Well, I'm not going to say impossible. It is difficult to get killed and shoot down the other side of the map the entire game when I'm playing Hell's Bell. I give you Exhibit A and <laughs> Exhibit B. <laughs> Look at that. Those are... Uh, those are definitely very favored corners. Yes, absolutely. Without a doubt. And they come with cover, which blows my mind. They do. They do, unfortunately. <laughs> and the bell cannot be shot from the second floor. Um, that's, that's true. I mean, that unless you're on the stairs. Yes, you can shoot the bell yeah. from right here. That is very true. 
If you're on that staircase, you can shoot it. Yeah. I mean, usually that's it's very much less favorable because there's like a, a 1 in 10 that you're going to actually get enough shots for it to matter. But, you know, sometimes it only takes that one. Right. Yeah. I mean, just one point wins the game. Sometimes you just, you got to just go for it. Mm-hmm. There are... Yeah, there's two spots on this. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Chris. Oh, like I was... Yeah, like I was... Like I just said, always keep trying. Try, try again, because it might work one time. So, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, Two points on this map have partial cover on the ground floor. It is our crate up here, the yellow spots, and the crate over here. Uh, This one over here serves zero purpose. It's literally tucked into a corner, and it has a subwoofer. The one at the top of the map, uh, that actually does have some cover. Uh, there's some strategy you can use with that and getting people when they go by, especially if you use the shotgun. I would argue that the purpose of the crate with the subwoofer is just to deafen you. <laughs> <laughs> also very accurate. If you walk past that when the the music is just a little too loud, or you hit it just at the right bass drop, oof, you ears finna be ringing. Yeah, uh, it is not a game. That is that, that is dangerous in and of itself. <laughs> yeah, one uh one Billie Eilish song and your eardrums are shot. <laughs> yeah, that oh, the drop on Bad Guy, it's over for you. You're done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um tubes on this map we have uh dom tube number three which goes in this hallway here tucked away in the corner uh very easy to defend you're covered on two walls uh and you have pretty favorable ways to get in there from your spawn uh da -da -da -da. middle one is right there bam smack in the middle can be shot from upstairs and downstairs uh, kind of wide open. It's in the murder hallway, but this tube typically doesn't get attacked on the ground. I find usually you have to be upstairs to get this one. Right. Uh, finally, tube number one is tucked away in this corner here. Uh, a lot more exposed to the enemy than tube number one is. Um, it's a little bit harder to actually keep control of because you can shoot it from upstairs as well as downstairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, makes the game a little bit lopsided, but that's one of the reasons why we swap sides often every single game on this map because it is relatively lopsided. It's kind of we didn't talk about this that much with um, the Alcatraz map being up so much, like covering the dom tubes, but it's it's very similar on both maps in that way because there are two tubes you can shoot from upstairs, and then there's one that you can't quite get. Um, shanty right. for sure, but I mean, sometimes if <laughs> the death row tube is a little not where it's supposed to be, if you get mm -hmm. lucky, you can shoot it. But it's definitely kind of similar um, in that way. They're both kind of have that did advantage you... or disadvantage depending on the side you're on. Did you know? I'm going to go back to the T. Alcatraz map for a second. T uh, a T. Back in the day on Alcatraz, you could back hit all the, the tubes day. from upstairs. Yeah, I know. Like for the first like five or six months that it was open, the uh, the tube for death row was closer to the chair, so you could actually hit it from upstairs. That's the whole reason they changed it, though, right? Yeah, it's one of the reasons. Really... Yeah. Hey, thanks for the host, uh, Fabian. It definitely. I appreciate oh, it. thanks, Fabs. It definitely does. Um, it adds for some reason, just like changing that one tube position adds a lot more like difficulty. Mm -hmm. It adds a lot more. It, interestingly enough it adds a lot of fairness to the game because you'd think like just having one tube kind of not being able to shoot it from the top it would make it really lopsided but i would definitely argue for the side of it making it more fair than yeah lopsided. absolutely it was it a positive gives, change yeah it definitely gives um people who like to play more on the ground floor of either map like a chance to actually you know really get involved and like have a spot that's theirs too which is nice mm-hmm yeah. Um, other big spots on this map. Uh, I call this room over here. This is the dancing room. There's a big picture of a dancing lady outside of it. It's a yep. pretty fun room to hold. You have a lot of space in this room to move around and hide. Um, mm -hmm. You got like three different corners you can hide in. You have two hallways you can shoot out of. If you're feeling confident, it's a great room for SWAT. Yeah. Um, I love it for SWAT. Don't mm -hmm. fight me there, please. I will kill you. 
Just kidding, I'm not that good. But I'm probably gonna kill you the first time. Um get the get the get them points. Yeah, no, absolutely. Lots of points to be had in this room. And it's also just a good kind of control point if you're if you're coming from this spawn, from the Rick and Morty spawn. If you can get yourself around into here, you can pretty much lock down this entire section of the map. By not letting anybody go through either this way or this way. That's true. Yeah. yeah. It's a really good, strong control spot. Um, other rooms I like. Uh, we've nicknamed the rooms that are opposite of the center room the checker rooms because, haha, they're checker painted. Uh, these rooms are great strategy for any mid center game because they can both shoot across to the other room. Uh, they yeah. can see any of the objectives that get placed in the middle, be it a tube, a bag, the bell. Um, they're solid places because they are also immune to the back campers. The back camper back here cannot see the person in this room. That's very true. Very true. So if you're going against somebody that's camping that back really hard and it's an objective game, you can just slide into this room and you can keep the middle safe. It also kind of gives you a chance to, if you get the, the like, momentum and you really, like, get your head in the game enough, you can pop out of that room fast enough to get the person camping in that, that back corner sometimes, which is really nice. Yeah. If you can hear them, yeah, especially if the person's really loud with their gun and reloading, you can hear them either get near the end of their mag and they have to reload and you can just pop out and get them. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of time it right. That's... Right. <laughs> That's the sweet spot. That's a uh, top tier strategies right there. Um, yeah, my hearing's not the best, so I just don't do it. So. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> not everybody can do that. I actually listen a lot when I play. Um, I'm sure people will, like why. people will like watch, walk around and they'll like look at me just like standing in a spot like this, <laughs> and they're like, "What is he doing?" My favorite is like when I'm in Alcatraz and because the the floors upstairs are so loud in there. Like if someone's like, even if they're just walking, you can hear every step. It's like I'll be in the middle of like shooting somebody else like on the ground floor and I'll stop everything I'm doing and like look up and like, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> where is the danger? <laughs> um, One of the big defining things on this map are the water barrels those aren't on alcatraz so we have water barrels here here and here uh they were added to the map after it opened to cut down on like the real long range uh sniping so this corner used to be really bad uh you would actually be able to sit like right outside spawn and just shoot straight down this hallway and no one could ever come around it I actually um, never played on the map. Terrible. Yeah, there was some pretty oppressive games before they put the water barrels in. Um, this spot right here underneath the stairs used to be amazing because you could do the same thing. You could shoot all the way down into the spawn. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I never like, really thought about it that much because I've never played a game without them there. But Yeah, definitely... that was the, the games of Juan and I putting up over 250 kills. Yeah. Right, that would make sense. We would walk out of spawn <laughs> and just sit here the entire game. Didn't matter what also, we were playing, unless it was Hell's Bells, and then we sat there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then this barrel here uh, is meant to serve the ser same purpose as this one, but from shooting this angle. Okay. And you'll notice that all of these barrels are made to stop at this spawn from destroying this spawn. That's how unbalanced the map was. If you were in this spawn, you couldn't do anything. Wow. I know that that was like a big conversation for a while. I do know about that because people still talk about it. Yeah. Also, those, um, wasn't it the, like the metal walls that got put up and that was like a whole thing too, like upstairs and over that yeah. spawn? Yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me pull up the upstairs. Yeah. It was a huge deal. Yeah. So, um, it's a little harder to see on this. Uh, I guess I could have picked better colors, but. Um, all of the uh, the purple walls are the purple are the walls that are full cover. Mm -hmm. uh, when this first started, the only areas that had full cover were this area up here and this area here. Uh, everything else was half walls. So you could sh just lean over and shoot down. Uh, 
let me go back to the combo map. So if you were up in this guard tower, you could literally just shoot without any regard for your safety into both the exits of the spawn. Right. Uh, same thing over here. This one was wide open. Uh, and this was before they changed the spawn timers so that you could yeah. shoot yeah, before you were good. alive. You had to wait five seconds, but you couldn't shoot. Correct. You had, more time you had a five-second delay. So if you were getting camped, you had to just be pulling the trigger, praying that you got a shot off on the guy above you because he's already shooting at you. Right. Um, That's crazy. Yeah. So, so Irritating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine. Yeah, so the upstairs is a lot better now. Um, all of these walls are all full cover now, so you can't shoot down. Uh, this section up here is great because it's all full cover and you got windows you can shoot out of. Right. Up here, same deal, full cover this entire walkway. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with this room. <laughs> Funny enough, I think uh, there was a window here that's currently boarded up right here mm -hmm. where you could also shoot into the spawn. You could shoot into the spawn on the right. Yeah. Yep. And it was like, that. it's like an arrow yeah. slit window, so it's only like six inches wide. Right. I was able to use that window before they boarded it up. So. Yeah. It was one of the few that spots where really you could good. actually, if you got there, you could keep the other team back, but that was about it. Mm -hmm. um, it's wild to think of Shanty pre all of those adjustments. Yeah. Um, it was a different beast. <laughs> Completely different. Mm -hmm. Um, that's pretty much it for nicknames for the shanty map. Um, I know the people on Pew Pew we have different names for some of the areas. Um, but I'm not at liberty to say what those all are. Like this room has a base in it. In. Not everybody's cool enough to be a part of your dumb little club. It's all right. We're gonna get whipped at the next tournament if it's at a different location. Oh, yeah. So that that's interesting. So that's Shanty. Let's see if I missed any notes here. Uh, water barrels, spawn camp, spawn defense. Uh, what do you do when you die? For the noobs, when you die on Shanty, what do you do? That seems like a really self-explanatory question. It is, because we play a lot. Um, you respawn. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, like, what do you do? You hit the button, what's your first thing? Oh, like, oh, after, what, like, after the first time you've been out there? No, like, you're, you just, you died, you go back to spawn, you hit the button, you want to get back out and stay alive, what do you do? Oh, well, your girl's going upstairs, most likely. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it depends I feel like it depends on the side it depends on if I kind of like take the long route or I'm just going to kind of like book it for the stairs because <laughs> okay. I, I think it like on either side there is definitely like a chance you can respawn get to the stairs before even having to worry about shooting at anybody because nobody can shoot you just yet so you definitely have that like free space of time where like if you want to run you can i don't advise it but i definitely do participate in it <laughs> you can give it a um, strong yog yeah yeah a strong yog, a healthy yog um but if not i i think that i think one of my favorite things to do especially in shanty is kind of go around the outside mm -hmm. um, yes that's a great strategy for new players yeah, go around the outside and kind of like cover that area, come up on the other side of the map and then take the back way, like whatever is opposite of you, those stairs and then go upstairs if you want to get there. It's a good way to get some kills, clear up some space, uh, allow other people to follow you up there if mm -hmm. you like really like have the chance and have the skill to kind of get that area clear and then go upstairs from there and kind of do your rounds see if there's anybody up there clear that space out and then start um you know just picking off people on the ground yeah uh chris you don't play shanty as much but do you have any tips always when you think that Okay, so starting from when you die, you get shot, you're dead. Obviously, the first thing you want to look at is where did you get killed from? Mm, true. For me, yes. it's always look up. <laughs> Maybe always... do a quick Travolta. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 Chris. Yeah, you just nailed it. My first thing is always look up, and if I see like, and if I see the regular that killed me up there, then I know what's up. I know not to go that way because I know a good chance they're gonna still be there. Right. Unless unless one of my teammates got to him. But then I would work my way up the stairs slowly but surely, starting from outside. Like, let's say, dang, I wish I had like, I wish I had my own like mouse for the map too. Oh, where do you want to go? I'll move it. Uh, lower left spawn. Yep. Uh, Rick and Morty. Okay. So I would go from Rick and Morty outside the spot, outside the door on the right, mm -hmm. and then go all the way around while still having my gun up, looking at the windows that are above me. Okay, let me load yeah, the top. Can... Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, right so there. we got windows here, windows here. Yeah, that's great strategy. And you get good yeah. cover behind these walls, too. You can kind of step ladder your way up this hallway. It's also yeah. a great way to just kind of, like, figure out who's upstairs, if if there is anybody upstairs, and if they're watching those windows. Because if they're not, then most of the time you can kind of get up that back stairway pretty quickly yeah. and clear out yeah, whoever's not paying they're... attention to you. Yep. Mm -hmm. My... So many times I've encountered a new person that's just staring out the window, not even looking at me. That That's my usual chance to right. pop the guy up. My preferred uh, strategy I give to new players is when you're in the spawn, number one, point your gun at the spawn when you're back at this area right here. When you start mm -hmm. to get about five feet from the outside of spawn, just pick your gun up and aim at it. If someone's pushing the button, you'll probably get respawned. That gives you a big head start. Like that's an extra six feet. Yeah, that's like three steps for most people. That's true. Mm -hmm. Um, the second tip is if you have to push the button yourself, you can hit the button and walk before you're dead into this room. Mm -hmm. You can get into that room without even trying. That's true. And then from there, you have freedom to go anywhere. You can come out this way. You can turn back and go that way. You can go into the middle of the map if you're psychotic. Um, <laughs> same thing. You on... can also you can also just back up into that hallway that's right there, like right around the corner. Right. If you go out to your right and then just kind of play a, a long hallway game. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> right here. To your left. Yeah. Yeah, because you get that open space in between all the doorways. And a lot right. of times you can get people all the way on the other side of the map coming out of um the ace spawn just like right. going around that back hallway. Absolutely. Um same thing applies to this side of the field. You can come you can casually oh Chris, your uh your video just flipped over Watching this happen is kind of cool. <laughs> What's the chat say? I'm blind and my computer screen is tiny. Let's see. Did I see it like that? Uh, Powers is keeping everybody calm and collected. Telling everybody not to panic. She's dead. <laughs> A refresh and donate twenty dollars. <laughs> oh my god! Absolutely, they should play that song while playing SWAT. That would be amazing. <laughs> That's a good song. Yeah, you're right. If uh. that, if that could be a uh, like a, can we just revise it? And you know what? Actually, better yet, overlay the music. That they have right now, which is really just sound effects, with "I Shot the Sheriff." Just combine the two, and that's a sweet spot. That's real good because then you've upped the ante of "I Shot the Sheriff" a little bit, but also, you know, you, you just got you got a little bit more going on. You got a you got a beautiful reggae ballad in the back, right? And your your hype intense sirens just overlaid right over it. I like Sick. this. I feel like we should pitch it. <laughs> it feels good. Because you I feel know, like we're onto something here. Because we don't have enough copyrighted music that stops my videos from being monetized on YouTube. You know what? Fair, but also, come on. <laughs> that is like that's like the pinnacle of um of drama right there. I shot the sheriff with SWAT sirens over it. Yeah. 
the your girl is in the only game that we play that i get demonetized every single time is black hawk down or not black hawk i'm sorry i'm dumb uh hell's bells i was gonna say hell's bells right because yep hell's bells gets me every single time i have to overdub it i forgot we've talked about this before but they don't actually have the rights to that song do they or do they no they don't they don't have the rights to any of the songs (laughs) so funny you know what's better oh my god okay this is like kind of off topic not off of this topic but in general but it's so funny to me the the kids the um like the what would wow what is it called oh my god why am i forgetting you know the kids sessions but Mm -hmm. yeah what is it actually referred to as hero nation yeah the music for the hero nation like if you're actually in that for like the birthday parties for the kids literally every single song in that like the playlists for the games and everything Mm -hmm. it's all like a bootleg kind of off-key music oh no like like really popular movies and stuff like there's um one of the the pieces that was con composed for like um their like dramatic parts where like optimus prime is speaking in like the michael bay transformers movies yeah. is literally a backing track to one of the the songs for hero nation but it's like one key off oh god that's miserable <laughs> it's so funny and one time they were playing it during a kid's session and i like walked off the field and i was like who's playing the transformers soundtrack and they're like nobody this is just the song for this game in hero nation i'm like oh that's that's f- so bootlegged like <laughs> what's going on <laughs> nice all right it's super funny yeah <laughs> All right, so we are going to, uh, we're just going to keep on. Uh, looks like Christian is having some technical issues. He's not going to be able to get back on right away. So we are going to move on to Black Hawk Down, Natalie's favorite game. I know. I only don't like it because I suck at it. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Cries internally. Um, yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to have a discussion here. And I'll actually, we're going to do some uh, chat interaction here. Um, I have a spreadsheet open that's going to update live on the stream. Uh, yeah, the and then spreadsheet we're just going to... Yeah. We're doing stuff for real. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Let's just... Oh, I did the wrong one. Oh, well. Hold on. Oh! Chris is coming back. Oh, my goodness. I just fixed everything. He's going to make me fix it again. Oh, Sorry. no! <laughs> there he is. I just broke- Get no, it's wrecked. Okay. It's okay. Chris literally just oh, fixed God. all oh, the God. visuals and then you came back. Oh, sorry, it's okay. Now I have it set up for the future. If it ever crashes the again, we're set. The future. <laughs> I just, oh my God. My phone was on the charger. It was literally on the charger. Ah, it's all right. No worries. <gasps> all right. So, Mr. I Chan. I just choked on my spit because I saw ferns here. <laughs> um we're gonna get right into black hawk down oh my god this is so cute guys ah wow we love community how yeah. adorable all right we love to see it hosts black hawk down <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh chris you are a actually you guys have both been very good team leaders back in the day which one of you guys wants to describe black hawk down from the ranger perspective Oh, don't be asking me, oh. <laughs> Christian. Oh God. Wait, okay, maybe be asking me. Describe or just like explain Black Hawk Down the way we would as if we were team leaders. Nah, don't give him like the team leader speech. Just what is Black Hawk Down as a ranger? What are you trying to do? As a ranger, okay. Oh, was I gonna explain it? Well, I guess I'll. <laughs> It got real quiet in here, y'all. <laughs> I think Christian's still lagging. Sorry about that. I was trying to like see if I could watch this sh- stream on my co- F it, F it, just F it. Okay. So Roger Dodger. Black Hawk Down. Okay. I think. So basically Black Hawk Down. If we're um I'm gonna say it from Alcatraz perspective, because that's where uh, we started off on Black Hawk Down before Shanty was made. So basically 
there one uh either black team or camo team will be rangers first they're oh. going to be trapped in the middle of the prison mm. either upstairs or downstairs and then they just have to survive for five minutes straight or at least have one person survive for five minutes straight all right i'm a i'm gonna pause you there chris you're <laughs> you're you are currently mr roboto and it's not coming across well <laughs> I'm sorry. Is it not that great? No, you're coming across as a robot. I I, w- I would give your give your phone a second. Or yeah, maybe... let your yeah maybe do a couple of reconnects with your phone or something. Let it catch up or I don't know what's going on, but you're yeah. lagging pretty hard. If I reconnect with this, so I mean I can talk. Yeah, go for it, Birdie. Easier. So I was really not paying attention because I was laughing. I'm so sorry um so you have the rangers and tangos if you're a ranger you're basically how it is is you don't start in your regular spawning area like as we showed you guys on the map you start um either half up or, or half down in the prison um generally people are kind of fighting for the upstairs because it definitely does give you a kind of large advantage even though you can pretty much go upstairs as soon as the game starts because you can move between upstairs and downstairs. You just can't go outside of the prison walls. So basically what that means is you have to stay inside where the cell blocks are, where showers is, and you can't go outside of those. If you go outside of those, you're disqualified. That's pretty much like the basis of being a ranger. You're also trying to trying to stay alive. You have more health than normal. What is it, 250? Is that right? Yeah, 250. Hell yeah, I still know. So you have 250 health if you're a ranger. And so basically, um, kind of flipping it over to the tangos. Tangos are all going to start in one corner of the map. Um, uh, and their job as the tangos is just to eliminate all the rangers before the end of the game. And most, if not all, I mean, all of the game modes are set up to be in five minute increments. Um, some games finish a lot shorter. Some games are on the whole five. Um, it's just kind of how that works. But um, again, as the tangos, your only job is to eliminate the rangers as fast as possible. And the only way to win is to eliminate all of them. When you're the tangos, you can respawn on both sides of the map, though, once yes. the game gets started. So those are kind of like the basics. I don't know if I missed anything or if anybody wants to fill in. Uh, I think you got it all. Um, the tangos also are one shot kills. I don't know if you said that. I did not say that. Yeah. If you are a tango, you get one shot before you die. Um, and yeah, your only objective is to eliminate the, uh, eliminate the rangers. You got to get them all in five minutes. I'm not even going to lie. I've worked there and I don't think I knew that about being a tango. <laughs> Really? I'm so dead ass. I never pay attention when that game starts because I hate it. Uh, it's a good game. I honestly, okay, so I feel like this is an unpopular opinion. Maybe not unpopular, but just like most people don't feel this way. Mm-hmm. Um, I like playing the Tango more than I like playing the Ranger. Okay. Silence. You Great. are certifiably crazy. <laughs> I think it's more fun. It's super challenging. It's like one of those games where you don't get a lot of kills just because that's not how it's set up. And it involves you like really kind of like being strategic about where you're going, um, who you're going after, and like really working together as a team, especially when you get down to the last couple of rangers. You've got to go upstairs, make sure upstairs is hopefully clear and then like maybe even having people who are willing to like stay up there while people go downstairs to make sure that nobody is going back up there i mean i think it's a really like if you're playing it as a team it's a really team-based game and i love that like i'm in it for the sportsmanship (laughs) like i'm there to work with people um and there is literally nothing better there to me there's no better feeling than killing the last ranger as a tango in black hawk down that shit is sweet <laughs> yeah that does feel really good especially if there's less than a minute left absolutely okay hey chris how's your uh, audio doing as he's frozen <laughs> <laughs> I jinxed him. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, it's bad. Okay, that's fine. We'll just keep going here. Um, Christian's a laggy boy today. Yeah. 
It's all right. Um, so yeah, basic strategy. You guys knocked that out of the park there. Um, let's go. Uh, let's talk about the Rangers in depth a little bit first. Um, as a Ranger, you have to stay in the middle of the prison. Um, the prison. I'm gonna switch to the other screen really quick for Alcatraz. Uh, the prison extends technically by the uh, the way that this game is played. Um, everywhere that you can get to without going outside of the staircases. So what that means is if you're on... Oh, we lost Chris again. That's okay. We'll just leave the overlays messed up for a second. Uh, if you're in... Uh, the bus side, you can go into this guard tower because you can get to it through this hallway right here, which is part of the legal area. Mm -hmm. You cannot get into this guard tower. This one is an illegal spot. You can't be in here. Um, in order to get to this section, which is legal, you have to go through the underpass. Uh, you're not allowed to go outside the prison and around this hallway here. True. Um, hey, welcome back, Chris. All of the ins. Ooh, that was much better. Wow, he works. <laughs> hey, look at that. Go oh, off. Man, he's he literally just went off. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know it's terrible. The back hallways are legal spots to hide, so you can hide in this back hallway. Okay. You can hide in this back hallway. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, you can. Go out this hallway here. You have from this wall all the way down here okay. up to this guard tower. Yep. You have this nook and you have this nook. Those are legal. Stairway is going up and down. Absolutely legal. You can go up and down both of those. You can go up and down these too. Mm -hmm. That is all of the ground area that you are allowed to go. You are not allowed to go over this. But you are allowed to go under this. If a team leader ever sees somebody go around these or around these, they should be radioing to ice to kill that player. Damn, get wrecked. That's yep. also true. I'm gonna kill off one of many players. Yes. Uh, when it comes to the upstairs, surprisingly enough, the entire upstairs is legal. If you are upstairs, you can be anywhere. I personally hate the upstairs. You will never find me up there. Now that I've given away my biggest tip, come at me. You can find me in the freaking hallways, okay? <laughs> find them in the hallways. You uh, go upstairs sometimes, though. Only if I have too much heat downstairs. If I have a lot of people that are hunting me down there, then I'll dip upstairs, hopefully, to you avoid... you like to cheese and go over to the left stairwell and get as many kills as possible. Sometimes. You do that all the time. I do it most of the time. <laughs> Don't even front. Yeah. <laughs> Literally every time we're on the same team and we're playing Black Hawk Down, you're like, all right, I'm going to go to the stairwell first. I'm like, okay. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, now that I've showed it on stream, I can never use it again. Um, <laughs> it's okay. See, now everyone in the chat's like, oh, yep, knew it. Here it is. Yeah, Sean does it as well. Um, one of the real big things about this game is people think that Black Hawk Down, as a ranger, you are trying to get as many kills as you can in the quickest amount of time possible. I think that's mm -hmm. absolutely the wrong way to play this. Right. Not how you play this whatsoever. Yeah, um... Hey, uh, people watching the stream, I'm upping the volume a little bit for the other hosts. If it gets too loud, let me know. Um, this game is set up so that the rangers are supposed to just hide really well and let people come to you. Um, there's really no benefit to hunting people down as a ranger unless you're looking to die. Um, I've had my best games when I just kind of sit in one or two spots and just let them keep coming to me. Um, there's also a huge strategy in just not shooting people. I said it. Just let, just let people walk by. Let people walk right past you if you, they don't know you're there. Especially if it's near the end of the game. 
unless someone looks at you and has their gun up ready to shoot you, let them go. You said I said it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it takes a lot of discipline to do that. <laughs> um, yeah. But if you have a good hiding spot, remember, you get a 50% bonus for winning the game. True. Big fact. 50%. That's a lot of points. Ask Meth Morrow. It's a lot of points. It is. Um, especially if it's a new player. If a new player is just walking through the middle of the map, don't kill him. Let him, let right. him wander off. Because what you do as a ranger, if you kill somebody and no one knows where you are, you have just let the good players on the map know roughly where you're at. Yeah. And now like five new people are going to come gunning for you. With, right with the regular absolutely um i can't tell you how many people um have just gone on like a killing spree in the last minute and it just doesn't it doesn't make sense because the minute those lights start popping up it's quiet at the end of that game like if i hear someone die i know where they're at on the map yeah exactly. yeah um, I personally really love Black Hawk Down, uh, because I feel like it fits my play style very well, uh, which is to be very methodical and just kind of incrementally gain advantage throughout the game. That makes sense. As I'm playing with my microphone, because I just unhooked it. Yeah. We're just we're just doing all the technical difficulties today, huh? How about just get them out of the way? Oh, it's because it's on the wrong one. That's why. First that podcast okay. goes swimmingly. This one is, you know, doing Correct. its thing. Yeah, you're not allowed to sit down at Chicago, so you can't be on your bottom. You're allowed to kneel, oh, yeah. but you can't be on your bottom or your chest. Um, some comments in the chat, real quick, that are going by. I wish I could read them, but my my screen for it is so small right now, and my eyes aren't that. <laughs> um, live for the moment had a question. Tips for killing five or more rangers, which is an achievement that's kind of hard to do. Ooh, love that! I got really close one time and choked. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's always great. <laughs> yeah, my my tip. That one, I got it out of pure luck. I was the only regular. Oh, sure. So, oh, well, yeah, that'll do it. Join that a session of it. new players. That's uh, a big one. <laughs> that's a good tip. That's awful. I don't like that tip. That's Cancel. how you get a lot of achievements, like unfortunately. Either, but like I said, it's ba it was pure luck that I got it. Like, pure luck. Yeah. Honestly, okay, a real tip, <laughs> other than just, I don't know, like noob sniping. But <laughs> um, I think that the best way in my personal opinion i mean the way that i've gotten the closest is to be really really focused mm -hmm. and never stop pushing just keep going for it yeah you will die a lot you're gonna die a shit ton and you're gonna be finding yourself at either end spawning like a ridiculous amount of times but like if you're really in the headspace for it and that's what you're going for like it can be done it's really not that impossible i think that you really just need to be like super focused and also like knowing what you're doing where you're going why you're going there mm -hmm. paying attention to where sounds are coming from is really important i think with this game and trying to get that achievement um and and just kind of really having a purpose for what you're doing i think yeah. outside of that it's kind of just i mean yeah i guess a little bit of luck maybe but i think there's a lot of strategy that goes into really trying to find people and also just knowing where you are yeah um my my tip i think i'm pretty sure i have this achievement um my tip would be ignore your first life and get to the other side of the map um a lot of people will just run out this way and die which is okay except that there's tons of people that like hiding up in this hallway up on the upstairs um and then they'll see you just go to the other side and spawn or they'll see you die and go back I personally prefer to go out this way and then just try to work my way all the way to the backside. If I can get here when I'm alive and you get to this spot right here, you can shoot anybody that's hiding in this corner. 
And if you get here early, they likely won't be looking for you. So that's one easy kill. The second easy kill is just coming up this back staircase and just unloading straight down this hallway. And you just do that for the next like two minutes. They'll do it. That will get you at least three, maybe four kills. Um, after that, you can pick off some of the people that hide back here and are just only looking at the intake spawn. Again, you're going to have to prey on some new players in order to get that five kill achievement. Yeah, because the one thing new players seem to like, this is what I've experienced, they don't seem to get that. The whole respawning on both sides is allowed. That's they can get every roll, like not leave the middle. You can go up and down, but like they keep forgetting they can respawn on bus side also. Correct. So like, that's why like if you hear me on the field, that's why I always yell like, "Hey, watch our back." Mm -hmm. they're, gonna, they're gonna they're coming. Just watch our back. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't see any other questions. A lot of people confirming what we just talked about in the chat. So that's good. A lot of people feel the same way about Sick. that. Love that. <laughs> Yeah, Sean, you are correct. I did just give away a huge spot. And that's something yeah. that's something that I'm not going to hold back on. I mean, the reason that I'm doing this podcast is to make people better at the game, to feel less less concerned with they're not improving and more of like I want to get better. So this is a resource that they can use to do that. Um, let's see. Some more some more strategy uh da 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 rangers if you are ranger. oh go ahead christian as a tango or ranger like... uh let's do some ranger still because tango is pretty there's not a lot of strategy there's a lot of just respawning quickly and making sure you get as much damage before you die yeah um as a ranger i personally don't enjoy working in teams um how do you guys feel about that like pair partnering up with someone watching each other's back. I don't think it's meant to be a team game on a ranger side. Personally, just because I think that a lot of it is like it, I I think it kind of defeats the purpose cuz like you're all kind of like standalone players at that point, like with the amount of life that you have and what you choose to do with it. Like if you're going to be stupid and kind of just like run amok, you're going to die. And if you're around that person, you're probably going to die too. <laughs> um I guess I don't really see the like benefit exactly from doing that. Um tell me if I'm wrong, but I think that you'll probably be a lot more successful if you're kind of just going it on your own and figuring it out as you go and kind of paying attention. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of, you know, you might get distracted. You're talking to somebody, trying to figure out what you're going to do. You, you know, trying to figure out where you guys are going to go, whatever. Like, I feel like it's just a lot less of a hassle to just kind of go at it by yourself and kind of figure it out as you go along. Okay. Christian, how do you feel? Team game, solo game? It's a, it's kind of evil, but one of my strategies is make it seem like it's a team game, but then you're never going to find me again when that game is, when that game starts. The I way got I you. Do that is, yeah. So you know how you start half up, half down yeah. and everything? I would have, I would just say, hey, all the new people just follow me. And then we would hang right next to the stairs on bus stop and then when the game starts you know how they're allowed to just run up right they will all run up with me i would designate let's say i have seven new people with me i'm going to designate two in each guard tower right next to the bus stop and then i would say one in the ship one in the bell room and then two and then one on each side stair Mm -hmm. And then the I would obviously like they're they're basically bait. They are bait. I'm not gonna lie, they are bait. Yep. So you're getting right. damage shields. Yeah. The moment I see all of them die, I know they're all gonna start coming up. That's when I go down. Okay. And then I have it somewhere downstairs. Like at that point, I haven't even fired off a shot yet because all these new people are doing it for me. Right. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, That's good that strategy. is a tried and true kind of method. Yeah, very tried and true yeah. method of eye combat of using the other players as fodder 
to see what is safe and what is not safe. <laughs> right. Because yeah. um, I know the regulars can handle themselves. But... Correct. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, my approach to this game is it's a single player game. Um, mm -hmm. I am going to do everything I can to stay as far away from any other players as I can. Mm -hmm. Because I want to have the um, surprise on my side. I don't want it to be where someone comes toward me, they get alerted by somebody else, and all of a sudden that person's ready to shoot. I want to be ready to shoot first. Right. No, that um, totally makes sense. Another thing I really like to do is to move constantly. Uh, mm -hmm. I will always attempt to change my position. If I find a spot's not safe anymore, or if a regular sees me, I'm going to try to move as quickly as possible. Yeah, I feel like that's where I lack a lot in Ranger. Because um, I just, I feel like I'll either move too much, like when it's just not necessary, mm -hmm. <laughs> or not enough. <laughs> like there's no in between for me. <laughs> sure. the, the worst is when you think it's safe, especially if you're upstairs because there's so little actual cover up there. Right. You think you're safe and you go to move, and then you just, by whatever reactions you do, you just stand up and walk away. Yeah. And then you which, just die from an angle that you didn't think about because you're not used which, to people spawning on both sides. Literally happened to me my last session. Yeah. yeah I was like just walking around a corner. I was like, oh, I'm fine. He died. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, the salt. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, I think that's a pretty good discussion of, of Black Hawk Down. Uh, let me check the chat to see if anybody else had any comments. Uh, Sean says partner up for a short time. Once you're down players, you split up. I agree with that. Yeah. If you're upstairs, especially. Like My whole like strategy. Like yeah. Upstairs, yeah, for sure. That, that that does make a lot of sense. Um, I also, uh, I didn't say this when I was talking before, but I use the wall as my partner. Basically, I always try to keep at least three <laughs> walls said, between. He said I use the wall. <laughs> Well, I mean, if yeah. you can keep walls on three of your sides, you only have His to worry about said, one direction. I will not be playing with anybody else in this game, but I it's appreciate like that, your uh, input. That <laughs> yeah. That, uh, that one entryway, the one way in, one way out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Room, yeah, that room is a good room to stay in. Yeah. But um, it's at that point where all the regulars know already. <laughs> well, all okay. right. That looks like it's it for comments on Black Hawk Down. So. Uh, I'd be liking it. Yeah, there's our there's our little description of the Ranger side. That Ooh. is that. Next week we will be going in depth on domestic threat. So start thinking about that in the chat. What you want to talk about there? If you have questions, yes. tips, strategy, hints for achievements, etc. Uh, we'll try to get to that part in the conversation a little quicker. Last week, uh, we're still getting used to how long this whole show is going to take. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um. That's pretty much it for our our outline for today. So we are getting near the end of our stream here. Um, go back to the main screen. So hosts, anything coming up this week that we want to talk about? Oh, um, trying to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. I'm not. What is this weekend? Friday, Saturday. I'll start off first. Hey, if you guys are in the if you guys are in the the Chicagoland area, come to my birthday. Me and Juan, <laughs> we're, we're getting lit on Saturday because we're getting so <laughs> you know <laughs> hit us up on the twenty second. <laughs> uh, that's what I was gonna say. Yep, we got the uh, birthday, birthday party for Birdie this weekend. Got him. <laughs> uh, very nice. By the way, in thirty eight minutes, happy birthday. Ah. Oh, yeah, I guess so. It took me a minute. That was delayed enough where I was very nervous that I got the date wrong. I was like... It's actually 39 minutes because I was born at 12.01 a.m. Oh, fair. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, fun fact. Okay. Wow. Uh, Christian, you're still uh, being a slave at iCombat this weekend, right? Yes, I am. Cool. Uh, Are you guys... Are you going to come out, Christian, on Saturday? Will you have time? Uh, I get out at midnight, so wherever you guys are at midnight, I'll be there. Sick. 
Sweet. Yeah. See you then. <laughs> we have had a great podcast. We had a little bit of crash in the middle, but it looks like that was more of Twitch's fault than ours. Uh, looks yeah. like the service just went yeah. down and it came back. So uh, we'll, we'll clean it up program. for next time. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed all the graphics and overlays. I worked on them pretty hard this last week to get stuff cleaned up and looking a little bit nicer for the show. Uh, the VOD will be posted uh, tomorrow, uh, 1 o'clock. We'll do a premiere again, same as we did last week. Yay! And um, personally, I am not working on combat this weekend. I'm spending the whole weekend partying. So, yeah, that's going to yeah. be fun. I'm way too old to do this. What am I doing? What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That's the tea. <laughs> that is the tea. All right. So uh, for everybody out in the chat, we appreciate it. You guys got us to four sub points today, 11 to go before we get our second emote. Uh, we do have one emote that's currently waiting on pending. I'm going to type it in the chat right now. See like, if it works. Yeah. So excited. It does not work yet. Uh, once that's approved by Twitch staff, that'll be posted in our channel. It is Boom CH2 Keck with a capital K. <laughs> um, I'm not going to spoil what it is because whoever gets to type it in first is going to have a great time looking at it. I um, can't wait. <laughs> yeah, our first emote's a meme emote. It's going to be wonderful. Um, yeah, subscribe, follow, uh, YouTube, follow us there. Uh, stuff will go up there. Uh, we have personal note. We have the bowling podcast or bowling podcast. We have the bowling stream tomorrow. Uh, that's going to start at 7:15 Central. That's me, Ski Ski. Uh, Zach, aka Dewey, uh, statutory vape, Dewey. Big Goody, who is actually not on the team. He's going back to school. He's getting a bit of an education so he can get a promotion at work. So best oh, of luck to him. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! Uh, we're gonna have some other players at bowling that aren't part of the main crew, but it's gonna be a good time, and that's all gonna be streamed again as well. Um. That's all I got. Anything? Any last notes before we sign off? Nope. Thanks for watching, guys. I had fun. Absolutely. I feel like per usual. <laughs> yes, this has been a great time. We're clocking in about two hours today, so oh my god, that's trim, so wild. We may have to trim the top down and down for next week a little bit. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, that is it for us here at the Gear Swap. Uh, we love you all. Remember, if your gear doesn't work, ask for Gear Swap, and we'll see you guys next week. Alright, bye guys!